So in a large scale hydroelectric power plant, all of the workings of this, the turbine generator, all of it is really contained inside the massive concrete structure. Here's a great diagram. So inside the concrete itself, you can see how you take the water in from the reservoir over here, how it flows down and then goes through the turbine. The height I was talking about will be the height from the reservoir down to the height of the level of the turbine itself. That distance is what would go into that equation. So this is a typical large-scale hydro plant. One of the most famous in the United States is Hoover Dam, which has, you can see here, this is the top view, this is the water intakes. The next slide shows us the view from the other side. This is a massive dam project and was created predominantly in the end of the Depression era through the 1930s. A massive public works project just outside of Las Vegas, Nevada, creating Lake Mead. Take another shot of this from there. You can see the huge difference in height and the mass amount of concrete that's needed to hold back all of that water. The actual span, of course, isn't that large. The energy generated, the amount of power generated by Hoover Dam is around 2,000 megawatts, about two large-scale coal power plants. All right, so here is Hoover Dam and all the workings of the dam, where all the water goes through, where the generation is done, where the electricity is done, is done inside the structure. Here's a drawing of what the turbine looks like. It's a Francis turbine. The blue areas are where the water collects, and because of the pressure difference, it actually spins those blades, which are connected directly to a shaft, to a generator, turning a generator, just like one would do if one had first had to make steam, for instance, with a coal power plant. An actual picture of the turbine is shown here. Massive, large steel structures. Very well designed, simple, but efficient, and a wonderful source of a green energy source. This type of turbine is actually quite efficient and has a very good design. In fact, good enough that the largest dam, one of the newest in the world, the Three Gorges Dam in China, uses the same types of turbines. This dam in China is the largest, most massive dam project in the world. Whereas the Hoover Dam is 2,000 megawatts, this is 22,500 megawatts, equal to 22 or more coal huge power plants. It was produced in China over a, a decade displacing probably a million people where all the lakes and things went, but producing the largest single source of clean hydroelectric power in the world, slightly equipsing those dams down in Paraguay. There are, of course, other types of turbines that can be used. Uh, some hydropower plants across the world have a more screw type, a Kaplan turbine. Very similar process, the pressure of the water turns the screw, the screw turns a electric generator just like any other shaft which spins would turn a generator. And an actual picture of one of these blades is shown here. Hydropower, where it can be done, has tremendous advantages in terms of practically free energy with a very good payback potential because the dams are going to last for a long time. There are disadvantages of hydropower, which should not be minimized. The first is that where you had a flowing stream, you're now going to have a lake, a reservoir. And if you have a reservoir, then you have the potential problems that that land used to be used for something else. On the other hand, you can now perhaps use it for recreation. You can store your fresh water. Habitat is always an interesting area. You're now going to have new things living in that lake, whereas before they were just rushing down the river. The big worry, of course, is a dam break. In 1966, 
a large hydroelectric power plant in Italy broke, killing, I think, something like 20,000 people. These are worries. One hopes that the construction goes well enough, and it probably hasn't been a huge major disaster of that type since that time. Let's hope that that continues, because if all the water behind something like Hoover Dam or something behind Three Gorges was released, obviously it would be a tremendous disaster for the communities downstream. That's what you need to know about large-scale hydropower.